Uh, what's up guys, it's Jukes and welcome to another YouTube video. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys two ways you can get past the goalkeeper in Ultimate Team. So I'm going to again show you guys how to do this in skill games and then you can just kind of practice and then you can go give it a go in Ultimate Team. Um, I wish I had footage of me doing this, but I actually don't. So. Um, I know it would be nice to have some in-game footage of me doing this trick, or two tricks rather, but I, I went back and looked and I don't have any anything saved. I did have some games where I did this, but I didn't end up recording the game, so I don't have any footage of me doing this. But I do know that this works in Ultimate Team, uh, because I have done it. But uh, yeah, so you pretty much have to go to the skill games, uh, on the shooting skill games, and you gotta do a few of them to get to the beat the goalie skill games on the shooting tab. Uh, but it doesn't take that long, so it only took me like two minutes. So if you guys have some free time, you can go like give that a go, or I mean, give it a go before you get to this one, I guess. But um, yeah. So there's the EA have made it fairly um easy to get past the goalkeeper, I suppose. The past two FIFAs, uh, the method of ball rolling to get past the goalkeeper still works pretty well. Um. Although it doesn't seem to work as well as it did in FIFA 20. It still works pretty well in FIFA 21. Uh, but there is actually a neat trick that you can do to get past the goalkeeper this year that you may not know of. But uh, it was actually shared in EA's Pitch Notes article for FIFA 21 gameplay. And immediately when I saw the clip that they posted, I had a feeling this would work. And it actually ends up uh, working like almost 95% of the time, probably even more. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So there's the controller on screen so you guys can see what I'm doing. But um, so uh, just to preface, if I mess up a few times, uh, don't get the pitch pitchforks out. Uh, you can't, I mean, sometimes <laughs> you can't do everything 100% right. But um, uh, let me just pause it. So the first trick I'm going to show you is something that was possible in FIFA 20. Uh, also, I think it was possible in FIFA 19 too, but I can't fully remember. Um, but yeah, so the first trick, what you're pretty much going to do is you're sprinting or running towards the goalkeeper, and then you're just going to do an L1 fake shot, which uh, ends up ends up uh, putting the ball in front of you and giving you decent uh, separation from the goalkeeper. So here, I'll show you how it looks like. It's pretty simple. It's not that hard to do. Uh, there's the controller on screen, so you guys can see what I'm doing. So you're sprinting towards the goalkeeper, and you do an L1 fake shot. Of course, Neymar didn't end up doing it right there, but... Uh, here, you sprint past the goalkeeper, you do an L1 fake shot, and you can get the shot off. Do it again. Uh, the thing is, yeah, see, the, th the key thing is, though, you have to time it really well. So I wasn't timing it well twice, um, which, of course, you're probably thinking that this doesn't work. But uh, that was actually my fault. You have to time the L1 fake shot where there's good distance between you and the goalkeeper so you can get the boost fully in effect. Um, Let's do it again. Uh, so see right there, it's, I'm timing it well. So there's a good distance between you and the goalkeeper because the move itself doesn't come off that fast. So you have to keep that in mind. You really have to, um, that was terrible. You really have to make sure there's a good distance between you and the goalkeeper, like right there. Um, keep in mind though, it's not 100% foolproof. Like like you've seen, you actually, it's not probably, it's probably a good thing that you, I, <laughs> messed up a few times so you can see what not to do and you can then compare uh, the ones where I don't mess up so you can see what you have to do. If you're close to the goalkeeper, like right there, sometimes that might not get through. You got to make sure there's a good distance between you and the goalkeeper. If there's a good distance between you and the goalkeeper, this move is going to work almost all the time. So I did a running scoop turn, but that also works. But just in case you don't have five star skill moves, the uh, the running scoop is actually a decent way to get past the goalkeeper, but if you don't have five star skillers, the L1 fake shot does work well. You just have to make sure there's a good distance between you and the goalkeeper before you do it. If you wait too long, like right there, the goalkeeper is going to nick the ball off you. Um, so it works pretty well. So the second method I'm going to show you is what definitely works more. It is a bit harder to do, but it definitely works better than just the normal fake shot or the normal L1 fake shot. So that method is you do the L1 fake shot and then as the motion of the skill move is like starting or beginning, you cancel it. So you do L2, R2. So it's pretty simple. If you watch my streams on Twitch, you know that I do the Lockerketa cancel a lot. Um, 
before I, I realized that move was very effective, I was doing the L1 fake shot cancel, which is also pretty neat. But this move is really, really good for getting past the goalkeeper. Um, so <laughs> there's, here we go. Hopefully I don't mess this up, but it's not easy to, the cancel method this year is actually not that easy to do because you have to do so many, um, so many controls at once in very quick succession. So it's not easy to do and you definitely, um, it takes a lot of repetition and practice to do it. So you pretty much do the L1 fake shots and then you cancel as the beginning motion is ongoing. And, uh, you can even, the thi oh, I messed up there. The, the thing is, though, you can also cancel the fake shot motion and do the L1 fake shot again because it doesn't count as a skill move chain because you're canceling the skill move. But uh, you pretty much do the L1 fake shot and then you cancel. So you see right there, you end up getting this very nice animation and your player seems to get this really insane boost after you cancel the skill move itself, which um, really helps out. You see right there, I did L1 fake shot, then I cancel, and then you just wiggle the left stick, of course. You still gotta wiggle the left stick, don't forget about that. You wiggle the left stick, and uh, you can get past the goalkeeper. So it didn't work right there, but um, it was probably my fault. Uh, let's give it a go one more time. L1 fake shot. And then once you do the cancel, you just wiggle the left stick, and then, of course, sprint away to get that acceleration. But this move really works pretty well. Um, here, let's do that again. I messed up. The the, thing, the key thing is too. It seems to freeze the goalkeeper. Like the cancel itself seems to freeze the goalkeeper. But uh, keep in mind, after you cancel, you gotta do some um, stick movements with the left stick, and then accelerate or even just jog afterwards. So the move ends up working. Otherwise, if you don't do that, it's all for naught. Uh, let's go back. That was terrible. Um, all right, so you get close to the goalkeeper, L1 fake shot, cancel, and then you wiggle the left stick away from the goalkeeper, and pretty much works. We did it right there again. The key thing also, uh, keep in mind, when you're doing the cancel, uh, I'll probably make a video on this, but there's actually two different cancel methods that you can use, um, depending on, depending on what you want to call it, which um, button you end up pressing last. So if you cancel R2, L2, and then um, hold L2 a bit afterwards, the animation is a bit more, um, what you call it, close to the player. So you don't get this necessarily like a fluid speed boost from it, but you keep the ball really close to your player. If you do an L2, R2 cancel, and you, like, you're holding R2 like last, just like a bit longer than L2, uh, the motion of the cancel is a bit more fluid, and then you can speed boost a bit better out of that. But that's kind of complicated. I'll probably have to do a tutorial on that, because I've noticed... I've noticed from doing the La Quiqueta cancel that there's very um, different cancel animations that can come off. But uh, all right, let's do it one more time. Hopefully, you guys got the gist of it. So again, L1 fake shot. And then as the beginning motion, this is very important, as the beginning motion, so as your player is like preparing to do the fake shot itself, that is when you cancel. So keep that in mind. You hold, you're still holding L1. You're doing L1. And you're doing the fake shot. So O. Oh, O plus X or square plus plus X, whatever you prefer. I do O plus X because it's just easier for me. Or circle plus X. So as the motion is beginning, that's when you L2, R2 cancel. And then afterwards, you, you wiggle the left stick, whatever direction you want to go to get past the goalkeeper. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys <laughs> understood what I was saying. And I hope some of the clips um, make it easier. Of course, there's also the controller on screen so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I hope it helps out. Uh, I did mess up a few times, but again, it's not, this is definitely a new thing in FIFA where you can cancel skill moves. So it's not, I'm not gonna do it 100% correct all the time. And I'm pretty sure you won't either, but uh, with constant repetition, you can really, um, you can really get it down. It's not that, it's not that difficult once you constantly do it. Uh, yeah, so there's two ways you can beat the goalkeeper this year that aren't bad besides the typical ball roll finish. You can do the L1 fake shot, which isn't bad. I prefer the L1 fake shot cancel, which is really good this year. If, if the, key, the, key, the key thing, of course, is remembering it because sometimes you kind of forget about it. But the L1 fake shot cancel is really good for getting past the goalkeeper this year because it seems to freeze the goalkeeper. Because the windup is very long itself from the L1 fake shot and then... Uh, the cancel itself freezes the goalkeeper and then you can kind of get away from him. Um, but yeah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, let me know if you want to see other uh, tutorials, other what, are, what other videos you guys want to see on the YouTube channel. Uh, feel free to post below in the comments down below. Um, uh, thanks so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, of course, I always appreciate a thumbs up. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Take it easy.